Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, I'm Amy and in today's tutorial we are tackling something a little bit tricky and that is how to draw white fur on white paper and as I'm talking about that I am drawing a white cat. So I think the first thing I want to say and this really is the most important thing about drawing white fur on white paper is that you want to make sure that the fur you are drawing really stands out from that background. And to do that, you are going to need to really focus on how to get a lot of tone, contrast, hues and shadows in your drawings because that will help you to bring that drawing forward. So if you just left your drawing white and didn't really add any hues or tones in the fur, then it won't stand out against the white background. Everything will just blend into the background, so you want to make sure that you are adding in plenty of tone to that drawing. So the hues and tones that you see in white fur isn't just white either. So basically, white fur isn't just white. If you look closely at a reference photo, you will see that a lot of the shadows, hues, tones, fur clumps and so on aren't actually white. They are usually quite grey in tone. So you will often see a lot of cool grey tones and warm grey tones in white fur. So cool grey tones have a blue tinge to them and warm grey tones have a yellowish brown tone to them. So depending on the lighting, setting and sometimes jeans, that will depend on what grey tones you see. So if an animal was sat in the direct sunlight with the sun beaming down on them, they would probably have a lot of warm grey tones in the fur than say an animal that was sat indoors which would probably have more cooler tones in the fur. You can also use both warm and cool grey tones to balance the colours in the fur out. So if an area is looking a little bit too bluish in tone, by adding in some warmer greys it will give a warmer feel to the drawing. So you do need to bear in mind that white fur is going to contain a lot of grey tones in it. You might also see some flesh tones in white fur and this is usually because of the animal's skin under their fur. So again by adding in these colours that will really help you to draw white fur that stands out against white paper. So now I just want to talk about my techniques for drawing white fur and I'm actually working on the face of the cat and the main thing I am doing is working in layers. So by layers I mean that I am using a combination of pencils to add lots of pigment and tone down to the paper to create that realistic fur. So I start off by applying my lighter tones first and I do this because if you start with really dark colours it can be really hard to preserve lighter areas and as this is white fur you don't want to be adding in any really dark colours straight away as the fur will become really muddy in colour and not look white. So it's always best to start off with really light colours. I'm using the Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils and I start by applying really light layers of of some creamy but light tones with a really light hand. So as a base I apply some ivory which is like an off-white colour and some cream and then I start layering in some warm grey tones over the top of that such as the warm grey one. I'm also using the buff titanium from the Karen Darch Luminance set for that section of the fur and then I start to add in some of the ivory cream and warm grey one as a base to then work from before I start to add in some of those darker colours. I use the side of my pencil too when I apply colours like this because at this stage I'm not adding in any of the fur strokes or fur clumps, it's just more about adding a base colour so that it gives me some tone and depth in my drawing that I can build on so that I don't have to just leave that paper white. So I'm using that pencil in the general direction that the fur is going in, so I'm starting to sweep that pencil around the eye to reflect a change in direction of fur, and that just helps me to establish exactly what areas and direction the fur is going in, so that it looks more natural and realistic. Then I start to build on those layers of pencil, so gradually increasing the contrast and intensity of the pencils, and I use some darker colours to add more contrast, such as the warm grey for and I'm using a few cooler grey tones as well just to add more of a balance in tone. So I'm using the cold grey 3 and the cold grey 4. 
With these pencils, I still apply the pencils down mainly using the side of the pencils, but in some area where I want the fur strokes to show through, I will use the tip of the pencil and just gently use stroking motions to add the fur strands and clumps in. So by using stroking motions, it creates really fine lines. So not lines that look really obvious and stand out too much, but soft and subtle lines that can still be blended out into the surrounding fur. I just apply a really light hand at this stage as well because I'm just mapping out general fur growth and the direction that the fur is going in. So until I'm ready to really render an area and have enough layers for the fur, I won't apply a hard pressure onto my paper. So it really is just soft and gentle motions. I think it's also best to use really, really sharp pencils as well, particularly for animals because fur is so fine, so you'll want to make sure that you have really sharp pencils that are going to be able to add a lot of really fine details in. So if you use blunt pencils, then you won't be able to get that super detailed result. The fur would just look really blurry and soft, so I always make sure that my pencils are well sharpened, and if I feel that they are getting too blunt, I make sure that I sharpen them to retain that sharp point. By using sharp pencils as well, it will really help you to fill in a lot of that white grain of paper, and just allow for really smooth and soft blending of the fur. So now that I've talked a lot about my techniques for drawing fur, I wanted to talk a little bit about one of the biggest problems that I think artists have when drawing white fur on white paper. And I think that it's just struggling so much with values and darkening up areas because the fur is so light. So white fur is almost the complete opposite to black fur. With black fur, it can be really hard to get in those lighter areas because the fur is so dark. But with white fur, as the fur is so light, it's hard to add enough value down where it still looks white but it looks realistic and it stands out especially against that white background and I think the most important thing to remember is that you shouldn't be afraid to darken up some areas and you can use some darker grey tones to do that so in my drawing if you look closely you can probably see that there are a lot of grey tones in that fur but the fur still looks white and it really is because of how I have used those values and how I have a contrast between the light and dark areas. So it's important to have areas of white fur that are a little bit darker. So for example, areas that have a lot more grey as opposed to white, but still have lighter areas so that it hypes up that contrast between areas and fur sections. For the lighter areas, I would really recommend using the white pencil from the Caran d'Arche Luminance range to really intensify those really bright areas as it's such a strong colour, it's got good pigment and it really brightens up those areas. So even if you don't own the set of the Luminance pencils, I would definitely recommend investing in the white Luminance pencil as it is definitely amazing for those really bright and highlighted areas. So on a lasting note, I think it's really important to be patient when drawing white fur on white paper. It's probably one of the hardest types of fur for me to draw personally and a lot of artists in general really struggle with drawing white fur on white paper but it's really important to remain patient and build up on those layers gradually over time. So remember to build up on those layers starting with the lightest colours first and then build up on those layers by adding in more tone and contrast. Most white fur will contain cool or warm grey tones, sometimes both, so it's really important to look at your reference photo to see what sort of hues and tones are in the fur. It's also important to use your pencil in the correct way, so whether that be through using the side of your pencil or the tip of the pencil, and using the correct pencil pressure which will determine how soft or hard those pencil strokes will be and how many layers of pencil you can add to the paper. When you are drawing fur, it's really important to map out the general direction of fur growth and the length of the fur you are drawing so that you can draw that fur accurately. And don't be afraid to darken up some areas of white fur using some grey tones to add just more depth and dimension to your drawings. The white luminance pencil is also amazing for adding in really bright areas. So for example, really bright highlights, little whiskers, little fur strands or fur clumps that appear a lot lighter than others.
But anyway guys, that just about finishes off this tutorial and as always I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that it will help some of you out that might be struggling with drawing white fur on white paper. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed this video then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you never miss an update from me. I upload art related videos three times a week and I have a list of all of the materials, products and equipment that I use in the description box down below. But anyway, I look forward to seeing you all soon. Bye everyone!